new guitar is here. Really? Where is it? That's not guitar, is it? Ah, it's an IKEA guitar. Awesome. Because we're Swedish. Yeah, because we're Swedish and we're from IKEA land. Instruction manuals. Don't need those, do we? Ah, it's a guitar. Hey, this is Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm gonna open a box uh, of guitar parts. It's the Harley Benton uh, guitar do-it-yourself kit, uh, tele style, T style. So let's see what's in the package. We got two building instructions, one in German and one in English. Whichever you prefer. Okay, wonder what this is. Contrary to what they say on the web page at the moment, they probably will change it soon. Uh, the T style and the S style guitars now have Rose Acer fretboards. And the. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's not super even. Uh, the back feels really nice. I don't think you need any more like finish or anything. I won't any anyhow. Uh, yeah, you can feel the fret bands. The frets probably need some polishing, but it's nothing special. Um, yeah, it's not super <laughs> nice here. It's again. Can you see this? I don't know if that's visible to you. It's kind of rough, so yeah, but yeah, feels nice. I don't know if these frets are smaller than the usual ones. Look kind of small to me, but that's the way a Taylor style guitar should be. Uh, the edges are actually rolled on this one. You can tell that someone has gone over the the edges of the fretboard, not the, yeah, maybe, maybe the frets themselves as well, but you can actually see that it, there's like, it goes in like between the frets. So that's a nice touch. Okay, what next? So yeah, the neck was maple, and with a rose acer, that's a treated maple fretboard. And then we have a basswood body. It's super light. It weighs nothing. That's a good thing, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's not... Extremely even, and uh, the they have put some kind of wood sealer. I mean, basswood is fantastic since it's such an even, flat material compared to, for instance, well, rosewood is maybe the worst example. There's usually a lot of pores, but this is really. I think easy for the factories to work with. So I could some kind of ship here. And it's, like you can see the wood sealer in some places here. It's, I don't know, that's visible. It's like whiter some places. And it's, yeah, it's probably a four piece, maybe? One, two, three. So there's one there, one there, one there, and one there. Um, yeah, why not? If you're gonna be a several piece guitar, uh, 
I would prefer it if the center piece would be one. Most guitar companies do that wrong, like Gibson PRS, for instance, where you separate. You have the top maple tops being separated in the middle, and it looks kind of fancy, but. I mean, structurally, wouldn't you want the same piece here where the bridge is anchored? I don't know. There's a, actually a cut out for a humbucker here. So, yeah, if you want to do something else than what comes in the pack, then it's very much possible. Okay, last box. Here we should have everything else. <laughs> Okay, so here's the scratch plate and the neck pickup and all the metal parts are stuck to the magnet, of course. It's a big magnet. Well done. That's it. That's all the screws and the plate for the output jack. Uh, I should probably mention... Oh, uh, we have the control plate and it's the usual force to tell the guitar so you have a master volume, master tone, three-way position switch and to make it easy on us they have made it uh, solderless Thing. So you don't have to solder anything. This one goes under the bridge for grounding and yeah. So you just connect one pickup to one and one pickup to the other and then the output jack is already soldered in. Visible to yeah. Hmm. Allen keys. Um, yeah, for the back of the neck. So we have uh, the tuning keys, and they look rather good. So these are the kind of keys, the tuning keys that I tell everyone to get, where the top of them are actually screwed into it and it's made of metal, so... Yeah, feels kind of solid. That's the way I like it. You can see them in action. Strings. And the back plate for the neck. Yeah. Nothing special. And finally the bridge with again the pickup mounted. <laughs> Comes like this. And this is the top. Mounted guitar, so a top string guitar, it doesn't go through the body. And that's not a bad design, I like that. Uh, the pickup isn't really... <laughs> Can you see this? You can see my finger through here? It's not really centered in the <laughs> cutout. And it's, actually it's... Can you see this? It's on top of the bridge here. So, you can almost tell here because all the screws are pointing <laughs> in that direction. So yeah, we'll see how uh, we can adjust this if it's possible. Maybe that's a... Maybe it's made to be like this because then it, the pickup stays in place. Who knows? So that's it. Uh, see you soon for the building and trying out process and uh, well this will be a project so 
it will probably take a year before I'm finished and then I will change it all again. And that's what fun, I think, about this do-it-yourself kits. You can make something uh, ordinary, not ordinary, out of the ordinary, something very personal and special to you. So yeah, see you soon!